find the point on x axis which is equidistant from 7,6 and 3,4. So we are given these two points 7,6 and 3,4 and we need to find a point that is on x axis which is equidistant from both of them. Which means the distance of this point from 7,6 is same as the distance of this point from 3,4. Pause the video, try this on your own. Okay, let's do this together. Here are these two points. This one is 3,4, this one is 7,6. Okay, and the point that we need to find that's on the x axis. So it's somewhere here. If it's far to right, it will be closer to this point, 7,6 and further away from this point 3,4. If we move far to left, we'll be closer to 3,4 and away from 7,6. So seems like it's somewhere here. But to know exactly where this point is, we'll use the distance formula. We can assume that the coordinates of this point are x, 0. The x coordinate is something that we don't know, but the y coordinate that has to be 0 because we're on the x axis. Okay. Now what do we know? We know that this point is equidistant from these two. So this means the distance from 7,6 is same as the distance from 3,4. And because the distances are same, we can say that the distance squared is also same. We can get rid of the square root. Okay, first one is 7,6. The distance formula says that this length is square root of x minus 7 square plus 0 minus 6 square. And the distance from 3,4 that's square root of x minus 3 square plus 0 minus 4 square. Getting rid of the square root, this is what we have. Now if we solve this equation, we'll get something in x. The value of x will tell us where this point is. So let's solve. Let's open the squares. x minus 7 square, that's x square plus 49 minus 14x. This is 6 square, that's 36. This one's x minus 3 square. This is x square plus 9 minus 6x. And this is 4 squared, that's 16. What can we cancel? Well, we can cancel x squared. What else? That's it. 49 minus 9 is 40. 36 minus 16 is 20. So we have 40 plus 20 and minus 14 goes to this side. We have 14x minus 6x. 14 minus 6 is 8. 40 plus 20 is 60. So we have 8x equals to 60. Dividing by 8, x is exactly 7.5. This is what the image is also showing. Our point is 7.5 comma 0. This point lies on x-axis and is equidistant from these two points. All right, let's solve one more. Find the point on y-axis, which is equidistant from these points 7 comma 6 and 3 comma 4. Same set of points. Okay, here's the image. So these two points are equidistant from some point on the y-axis. We need to figure out what that point is. Pause the video, give this a try. Okay, let's do this together. This time, because the point is on y axis, we can assume that it's 0 comma y. We know that its x coordinate is 0 and its y coordinate is something that we have to figure out. Let's use the distance formula. Distance from 7 comma 6 is same as distance from 3 comma 4. Doing the same thing that we did for the x axis, Finding the distance, that's 0 minus 7 square. The point is 0 comma y, so that's 0 minus 7 square plus y minus 6 square. That's equal to 0 minus 3 square plus y minus 4 square. Difference of their x coordinates and difference of their y coordinates. Getting rid of the square root, we have this equation. Let's solve this. 7 square is 49 y minus 6 square it's y square plus 36 minus 12 y this is 3 square that's 9 this is y minus 4 square this is y square plus 16 minus 4 times 2 that's 8 so that's minus 8 y okay y square gets cancelled 49 minus 9 is 40 36 minus 16 is 20 so something very similar that we got in the previous one 40 plus 20 is 60 and minus 12y comes to this side, we have 12y minus 8y, this is 4y. So 4y is 60, which means y is equal to 15. So the point is 0 comma 15. And we can see that from the image as well. This point sits on y axis and is equidistant from both of these points, 7 comma 6 and 3 comma 4. All right, here's an interesting question. Find the equation of the line 
on which all points are equidistant from these points, 7, 6 and 3, 4. We first figure out the point on the x-axis, then we figure out the point on the y-axis. Now we have to figure out the equation of a line on which all such points lie. Pause the video, think about it. Okay, so what do we assume for the points here? Let's assume that the points are x, y and then use the distance formula. Distance from 7, 6 is same as distance from 3, 4. So if a point is x, y, the distance from that point to 7, 6, that's going to be x minus 7 square plus y minus 6 square, square root. And the distance from 3, 4, that's going to be x minus 3 square plus y minus 4 square, square root. Getting rid of the square root sign, we get something like this. Now we can square and simplify. So this is what we get, x square plus 49 minus 14x plus y square plus 36 minus 12y, that's equal to x square plus 9 minus 6x plus y square plus 16 minus 8y. Now all the x squares and y squares will get cancelled, x square cancels out, y square cancels out, and what do we have? We have constants, 49 minus 9 is 40, 36 minus 16 is 20, so we have 40 plus 20 on one side. Moving all the variables to the other side, we have 14x here and then 12y here. Here we have minus 6x and minus 8y. So 14 minus 6 is 8x and 12 minus 8 is 4y. So this is 8x plus 4y, that's equal to 40 plus 20, that's 60. We can take 4 out, 2x plus y, that's equal to 15. So this is the equation of the line on which all the points are equidistant from these two given points. Let's plot them. So this is our point 3 comma 4, this is 7 comma 6. This was 7.5 comma 0, the point that's on x axis that's equidistant from these two. And this is 0 comma 15, the point on y axis which is equidistant from these two. Now look at this line. This is 2x plus y equals to 15. If you try plotting it, you can put x as 0, you'll get y 15. And if you put y as 0, you'll get x as 7.5. So this line passes through these two points. And this line has infinite points, all of them are equidistant from these two points. Now the question is, why is that so? Why is this line equidistant from both of these points? Pause the video, think about it. Okay, so here's the explanation. If you join these two points, you actually get two triangles. And this line is the perpendicular bisector of this line segment. This perpendicular bisector creates these two triangles which are congruent. And we can prove that these two are congruent because if this is perpendicular bisector, this angle is 90 degree, this length is common and because it's bisecting, this side is equal to this side. And because these two triangles are congruent, by corresponding parts of congruent triangles, we can say that these angles are equal and these sides are equal. So no matter where your point is, if it's forming these two congruent triangles, if it's passing through the perpendicular bisector, it will always be equidistant from these two points. 